today's Career Day of Beverly High, we're really excited to welcome over 110 speakers covering 50 professions. It's a conference style format. Our entire student body of 9th through 12th graders signed up for three workshops, so we'll be having 130 separate sessions today. Our culinary arts students welcome the speakers with a continental breakfast and they'll be greeting the speakers at the end of the sessions with a lovely lunch for about 200 people. Our KBEV students are filming the day, we have photo student photographers taking photos, and our DECA marketing, Interact, and ASB students are helping run the conference. Uh, it's a fabulous all around. I figured out that I wanted to be an architect when I was around your, your age. I was able to go to a pre-architecture program at Carnegie Mellon Institute. I grew up in Pittsburgh. And from that pre-architecture program, I really understood a little more about what architecture is like. Sundance Film Festival, where someone saw a very small short film and there was a, an actor and everyone's like, who is that? Like, I want to work with that person. We need to get them in our next film, whatever. And you can become the future filmmakers of tomorrow. You just research those things. There are many film festivals across this country who take student films and are, are launch pads for young people in terms of being writers, directors, and actors. We're okay. It just depends on what you consider expensive film. I'm working on perfecting my own way. How do you make it on? How, which style of do you want to make? I don't know. Just don't want you to flip it over. No, you can't. Okay, so how I learned, <laughs> how I learned omelets is very different. It's not the American style. That's the American style. You flip it over. Okay. Right? When I learned, it was a not. You can't use a nonstick pan. It's a regular pan. Okay. Right? You go through. It's it's a whole technique. There's actually a great YouTube video on it. Send me the link. I will send you a link. <laughs> give me my card, I'll send you a link on the way out. Because it's right. like, once you have this omelet, you'll understand what omelets are. I can't give that medicine to this patient because there's been a change. And I know that this medication is actually caused more harm. So you're right, there's a lot that the nurse has to know. We're constantly thinking about our patient, you know, what's coming up next. We also are their educators before we let them out to go home. We've got to make sure that they understand how to take their medications when they go home, how to care for themselves, you know, the various things they have to do if they have some sort of an illness, like diabetes, for example. There's some specific instructions that we have to teach these patients. This is Mitch Berman. I'm a firefighter here in the city of Beverly Hills, and I've been a firefighter here for 10 years. And my job title is engineer. So my responsibility is I drive the fire trucks and the fire engines. My daily responsibilities are to drive. Uh, I'm also an EMT, uh, just like every firefighter in the state of California. But uh, my, the other part of my job is to make sure everything on the fire engine is there. What I really want to impress upon you is that we want you guys and ladies to be firefighters here in, Beverly, in the city of Beverly Hills. Dream, uh, career, and one day I'll see some of you say, hi, I'm that student that you, you were talking to and I'm a successful doctor and I enjoy um, working with my patients and uh, I enjoy giving back to the school I graduated from and maybe I'll come back and give the same lecture to the students in that school if you guys are here still. Huh? There's a reason why you're sitting here to learn how to do this. Thank you.